channel or if you are new here then hi hello welcome my name's Casey and today is another thrift haul on my channel I love doing them and I'm so so happy that you enjoy watching them too and I also want to say before we get into it I have hit 1k subscribers thank you so so much I'm not gonna cry because I've already cried but I just want to say thank you so much there is a big giveaway coming I'm just getting all the bits and pieces together I cannot put into words how blessed I am and thankful and I love talking to you all so all I always say like like subscribe but also do comment down in the comment section because I love talking to you I answer everybody and I love, honestly love talking to you. So do always comment, have a chat with me. I answer everybody, because I love to. Anyway, love me blabbering on. It's a thrift haul and I'm so happy. So I have a few homeware bits. If you do follow me on Instagram, you'll know like one thing I have. I wasn't going to have, but now I do have story coming. But if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. I update on there daily, just what I'm doing. I have tea reviews, so it was an impromptu tea review. So it will be popping up at the bottom of the screen and also if you pop the downward arrow in the description box, it'll be in there too. Anyway, but yeah, if you are new here, I hope you enjoy. Stick around, subscribe, great to have you to join us. And I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a huge thumbs up. But without further ado, enough of me blabbering on, let's get into the thrift haul. So I got this soup bowl from Cancer Research. I don't know when it started, but I do have an obsession now with soup bowls. I have a copious amounts of soup in my diet. I do, and tea, herbal tea. But I ended up getting a soup bowl a couple of thrift hauls ago. I'll link it in the description box below. It's very similar to this one, but red. And since then, the obsession was born. And I got this soup bowl Jack was like, so a story of how I wasn't going to have this. I put on my Instagram, I was like, I'm sorry, but Jack won't let me have it. Jack's my husband if he knew here. And he was like, no, you've got enough soup bowls. You don't need another soup bowl. But I do have this because, and it was three pound for the whole set, which is amazing. But Jack got this. So we actually have found, you can see my curve, everything's reflected on it, but it is a Negan poster. My husband loves Walking Dead. But this was only three pounds, but we did actually find this on Wayfair, still being sold on Wayfair for 17 pounds, because my husband was like, it isn't, because at first we thought it might be made by someone, but my husband was like, no, it's definitely not made by someone because it has this on it. So yeah, we found out it has a bit of paint on it and maybe that's why they've got rid of it, but a bit of a picky picky and it's gone. <laughs> but yeah, my husband really likes it. It just says, we're just getting started. And yeah, three pound, still 17 pound on Wayfair. So my husband got that, but I was like, well, if you're getting that, I'm getting my soup bowl. And I was, I'm thinking, yeah, I am that petty. Jack got his poster, I got my soup bowl. Everyone's happy. And then I got a cup and Jack was like, we don't need any more cups. And I was like, I always need a cup. And especially when it's a pineapple, I need it. So this was two pounds, it was a gift aid item. And I like it, I love pineapples. I got a bell with penguins. I am obsessed with penguins. I love penguins. Jack found it and he was like, oh, I wish I never showed you that now. It was 50 pence. I think I got it from Dove House Hospice. And it's just got these two little bambini penguins and it's adorable. And then I found this. So this is stunning. This is, it's Cleek. Click projects believing in fair trade and improving lives. So it's a fair trade bowl and it's just so beautiful. I absolutely adore it. Jack at the first was like unsure, but I was like, no, we need it. It's beautiful. We want it. And he was like, okay, yeah, we want it. And I was like, I know we want it. And then I got this. So this was a pound and it's just a little frame with Chinese writing, it says spring, and I'm a spring baby, I like spring, so I was like, yeah, I like it. 
I do have in my stairs, it's like a feature, like art wall. There's a lot of art on there. So I was like, this will go in because of all black frames and this looks pretty and I want it, so. Got it, well that's all the homeware stuff I've got so let's get into the fashion because I love fashion I love clothes and I'm so excited to show you what I've got so I came across this in the men's section and it's three pounds originally from top man and clearly I was feeling my Asian oats at this point I got the frame I got the bowl and I got this with all like the kind of Chinese Japanese design on it and I just really like it so I am going to wear this as a dress I didn't have tights on in the try on but I will have tights on when I wear this because it's a little short but I don't mind things a little short but I do like an oversized t-shirt dress so this is in men's small so quite big on me and I really like it. It's super soft and it, it's nice. This dress, I picked it up and I liked it when I picked it up. I tried it on and it has this little heart. And when I put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this even more. So when I picked it up, it wasn't really buttoned up like this and I didn't know it had like a buttons around the collar and that's where it makes a little sweetheart area and I just I fell in love with it. It's originally from Paprika, it's a 10 and it was three pounds from Cancer Research and I just blooming adore it. It's so cute, it's kind of got like a vintage kind of floral pattern vibe which I like and it's just super cute and it has a little heart and I fell in love with it at that point. This I'm gutted about. So this is originally from Misguided. Um, it's a UK eight and it was three pounds from Cancer Research. It fits okay, but it's a bit big. So it's a bit big around the waist and also I don't have much going on in the breasticle area. So it's a bit baggy. So this will be going on to my vintage for a pound. Uh, my link is always in the description box on the thrift hauls because I do pop things on there because I don't like returning them to charity shops, I don't like it. So I'll just pop it on Vinted for a quid and someone will have it. Someone will look after it and give it a nice fresh lease of life. But I love slip dresses and yeah, it's just a baggy here. It has that kind of scoop, if you see on the try on, it's like a scoopy neckline, which I really like. I'd keep it, but it's just a baggy here because she doesn't have any boobies so and I'm also thinking this is gonna go on vintage as well I love this but I think it just looks a bit odd on me so this was this is originally from motel I think it's motel rocks I think maybe it's a medium and it was three pounds I think it's motel rocks or maybe just motel I don't know um but it's cute it's like this kind of leopard print pattern and the buttons are also leopard print as well if you can see super cute it's really nice again i love a slip dress i just think it's a bit big for me and looks a bit odd so yeah i think he'll probably go on vintage for a quid let me know in the comments down below what you think because i always i'm indecisive and i always need help from you so do let me know what you think now this is so dang cute i love this i will never not buy dungaree dresses i am obsessed with them and this one is so cute so this is originally from primarkus denim co it's a size eight and it was three pounds again from cancer research but yeah it's super cute i like the little kind of buckle detail there the little copper zip it's got pockets and we love dresses with pockets here i'm very happy it's yeah there's nothing much to write home about it's just a simple dungaree dress that i adore and then next up i got a pair of jeans i know that gen z has cancelled skinny jeans but i like skinny jeans i just do i like them and these originally from Dedeco, they're a size six and they were three pounds from Cancer Research. They are just plain light denim with the ripped knees. I do really like them. Nothing really, again, nothing really to write home about. They're just a simple, nice pair of light blue skinny jeans with the little ripped knees. Great, I just love to like kind of chuck them on with like a band t-shirt if I'm just popping out and I don't really want to get dressed up or 
have the effort. So I tried this on with those jeans and this is originally from Bershka. I love Bershka and this is a extra small and it was two pounds and a gift aid item. So it's just this tiny little burgundy top. I don't know if, the, I think this was a stitched on by the previous owner, if you can see. There we go. So I, I, I think I'm just gonna pull that and get it all out and maybe redo it because I'm guessing it was done for a reason so I might redo it and pull it that's fine I do really want to do some kind of um thrift flips because I do enjoy doing them let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to kind of watch some flip 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 <laughs> thrift flips it's okay I'm dyslexic these things happen, I just can't speak English. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that kind of like a video because I would love to do them with you. Next up, Jack saw this top, so it is in the men's section and it was two pounds, originally from Wicked Fun, no idea, and it's a men's medium, so it's quite big on me, but a follow on from the thrift flips. I love a t-shirt and jeans. And I think it looks great with just this as itself with the jeans on the try on, but I'm thinking I'm gonna crop it. I don't know. Let me, again, I'm indecisive, I need your help. Let me know in the comments down below if I should crop it or leave it. Anyway, next up is this lovely brown copper velvet dress originally this was from forever 21 it's a medium and i got it from vintage for a pound it's really really nice it's like a little wrap dress as you can see for the time but it has this like little hole here so instead of like tying it at the front you tie it at the back and i think that's so cute there's something so adorable about dresses that are like tied at the back to me i don't know they're super cute but yeah it fits really well I really really like it I just need somewhere to wear this this is kind of like a, a dress up dress for me like I'm going somewhere nice with this so I need somewhere to wear that then next up are these two items this skirt I am gutted absolutely gutted so this is a size 8 originally from pretty little thing I love the chain detail at the side it is so is so edgy but also kind of cute and flirty love it but it's too dang big so i got this from vintage um i paid about two pounds for this from vintage so i'm gonna pop it on mine for a pound and yeah i'm, I'm gutted because i just like i said i usually only buy things for a pound on vintage but i was just in love with this skirt that i was like it's worth the two pound i'll break my rule for this skirt and they don't even fit me. So this is just a little off the shoulder kind of knitted top. It is gorgeous. Gotta be careful though, because this top bit is only just these two pieces of material to cover the booby area. But again, I don't have anything there. So I, I'm fine. I don't have a, like a nip slip or anything because there's no fair. But it's really nice. It fits really well. It's super soft. And yeah, the seller was adorable. I loved her. But anyway. Next up is gym wear. I, I've only just started buying gym wear for the gym, but now I find it all the time and I'm well happy because I go to the gym a lot and I'm mainly in gym wear more than I'm in anything else at the minute. So I tried everything on with my, my protein shorts. My protein gym wear is amazing. But so I popped it on with those and it is just this little sports bra so this came as a set of two for three pounds from cancer research which i was super happy about i have washed it before i tried it on <laughs> it did have the padding in the breast area but again i don't have anything so i don't need the padding i, I, I always take out sports bras when i buy them this is originally from aviva i think i've never heard of that but i love the kind of breathable material i'm a sweaty gal so i always need breathable material so this is really really good and then it came as a set with this this is originally from i have no idea it says workout it's a 10 to 12 and it's really nice i do like to get my tops a little bigger usually go up one size because i don't like to be too restricted at the gym i like things to have movable room so i go up one size i do like the back which like crosses over 
I think that's super cute and yeah it's really nice it's kind of got like the breathable bit bits if you can see I don't know if you can see but it has a breathable bits on there which I like and then I got this kind of track top which is cute this was £2.50 from Dove House originally from Crane the size 8 to 10 and it's really nice I like it it's got the reflectors there if you ever go like running at night time which I like it has a breathable material on the sleeves which I also like so yeah cute love it I got shoes so both of these were from Vinted for £1 these were originally from Truffle collection don't know they're a size 6 and they're just these cute little pointy buckly dolly shoes they are really really good condition so they have been worn but not very much as you can see that is fine for me I really like them they fit really well and they're dead comfy I do like like kind of like little pointy dolly shoes they are cute and then I got these so these were pound these are brand new as you can see these are originally from don't know but the wide fit comfort but they're not very wide fit <laughs> so I uh, maybe that's why the seller was selling them because I have quite narrow feet and they fit great so they're not very wide fit but I do like the kind of gladiator style of the sandal got on just in time for summer and yeah I think they're going to get a lot of wear out of me but that is everything for this haul I still have so much to show you so I hope you enjoyed watching this and you stay tuned for more future videos if you are new here please do consider subscribing again thank you to everyone for getting me to 1k I really appreciate it and also if you enjoyed this video then please do give it a huge thumbs up it really does support my channel and yeah let's converse in the comment section it'd be great to chat to you but apart from that take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye